So, I've looked at quality of interactions between youth and authority figures across settings. In Oakland, California, for three years, I shadowed 40 young men and interviewed 72 other young people to get some context. In Riviera, California, 68 gang-associated youth interviewed and observed over the course of four years. So what are the collateral consequences of ma mass incarceration on marginalized youth? My findings show that there's a the systematic stripping of dignity of young people from a young age that are growing up in these high crime, high criminalization areas. The criminal justice discourses, practices, policies, and resources are embedded in other institutions. This is a crucial one, right? That, that now the way we deal with kids in schools, particularly in poor schools, poor inner city schools, is through a criminal justice lens. So I might be a teacher that somehow um, was influenced by this, this system, uh, this criminal justice system, that now what I want to do is to make sure I get rid of the rowdy kid. I send him out, and now he doesn't go to a counselor or a vice principal, but he gets to refer to the school-based police officer who then comes and handcuffs him and threatens him for a spitball throwing incident. Very common nowadays to have an officer come deal with discipline policies, pro pro problems at school. 